Oh, hey there. Norman here from WoCode, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Directory Gallery widget. Now, you're probably familiar with the Standard Gallery widget, and this widget is similar, but it has a few distinct differences. The Directory Gallery widget allows you to incorporate icons, and you can use this uh, to feature badges and ratings, pricing discounts, graphics, awards, brandings, details, so much more. And there's a lot of flexibility on where you can place the icons as well. The widget allows icon placement on the top of the widget, next to the title, or in the corners of the listing container. As we look at our demo, we can see here in the first section, it uses icons on the top right of the image to notate that some of the homes are new listings. In the second section, we drop down here, we see that we have award badges on the images and certification badges next to the title. And then lastly, if we jump down here to our third section, we can see that we use all three options. We have an activity graphics on the bottom left of the image, five star rating graphics next to the title, and a new icon on the top right of the container. As you can see, there's a lot of options and flexibilities on how you can use the icons in addition to the other elements available for each listing, such as images, title, description, text, and buttons with links. So let's go ahead and jump over into our builder and take a look at how to set this up. Here in the builder, we have ourselves a travel activities website and below the hero in this gray empty row, we want to add some activities that are available. So I'm just going to open up our widgets panel. I'm going to grab our directory gallery and we're going to slide that right here in the middle of the row. Okay. And then right off the bat, we're going to notice that this gallery is pretty much empty. So we need to add some gallery items. So if we open up our widget option panel here, we'll see that we have a few different options starting from top to bottom. We're going to start with our unique ID. Now this is going to be necessary for if we have more than one gallery on a page. For now, we're going to have the one. So we'll leave this as is. And down here, we have our columns. And this allows you to set the number of columns that are displayed in the gallery. For this, we're going to set this at three, leave it alone, but you can change this at any time to whichever various columns you need to show. Below that, we have our directory items, our item list. And here is we're going to want to start adding our items to the gallery. So I'm going to create three basic gallery items, two and three. We're going to open up our first gallery item here, and at the top, you see it says container icon. We're going to come back to that later. But the first thing we want to do in this list item is we're going to scroll down to our image. Now, I have the images for this tutorial already uploaded, so I'm just going to go ahead and select our image from our image picker. Wonderful. We're going to come down. We're going to leave image icon off, and we're going to change the item title to lounge open side Bali. We're going to come down a bit. We're going to leave title icon off. We're going to leave icon position alone. We're going to come down to description text. We'll leave this as lorem ipsum. Down here, we're going to go to button link and we'll just link this to a random page on the site and we'll leave the button label as read more. Let's come back up, jump into our next list item. Again, skipping over the container icon for now. Jumping down to our image here, we'll select our second image. We'll change our item title once again. Skip down to the button link. Select a random page on the site and leave the button label alone. If we come up here to our last list item, same as before, we're going to change our image. Give this a, an item title. Jump down and link the button. All right, wonderful. Now, before we start adding icons, let's do some really quick styling to get the gallery to match our site a little bit better. We'll jump into the design tab, and in here, we're gonna find the item container styling option. We'll open this up, we'll scroll down, we'll locate the background color for the item background. We're gonna change this to white. Okay, and then next, we're going to jump down to the border We'll give this a 20 pixel white border. Next, let's open the item image styling. We're going to set the width 
to 367, and then we'll set the height to 230. All right, and now we want to open up the item title styling. From in here, we want to set the font to Roboto and change the size to 20. And then we'll set the format to bold. From here, we're gonna open the item description styling and we'll scroll down here. We'll set the font to Mully and we'll set the font size to 14. We'll scroll down a bit here and we'll set the description line height to 1.5. Okay, so now the last thing we want to do is jump into our item button styling, scroll down to the bottom, and just make sure that the button alignment is set to left. Wonderful. Okay, so now we're pretty good on our styling, and as we can see here, if we close this, the styling we've applied is going to be applied to all the items in the entire gallery. So let's go ahead and add some icons now. This is really the area where this widget shines and the thing that really separates it from the other widgets, such as the standard gallery widget. We're going to model what we have in our third example of our demo by adding a new icon to some of these activities. And we're also going to be adding an activities identifier icon right on the top of the image and use an icon next to the title to give them a star rating. So let's go ahead and start with the new icon. We'll open up our first list item here. And then up here on the top, we have the container icon toggle. And we'll go ahead and enable this. And now from here, we can either use choose icon and select an icon from the icon picker here. Or we can upload our own SVG file. For this demo, I'm going to go ahead and use the upload SVG file. I've selected the new icon, so let's just go ahead and move this over a little bit so that we can see here that the icon is now active in our gallery. We can see that the next setting allows us to change the position of the icon. There are four possible positions. We have top left, top right, bottom left, and bottom right. Now for this example, we're going to keep this at the top right. Now it's important to remember that different icons will have different options for placement. Since this is the container icon, it can be placed in four corners of the item container. Now, let's add some image icons. Scroll down here. We're going to enable image icon. The idea here is to have icons for the activity type. This time, we'll use an icon from the built-in library. So I'll choose icon, and I'll search for beach. And we'll select our icon here we can see that the icon is now on our image. And just below that, we're gonna change the icon position. So we'll change this to bottom left. And then before we move on, let us quickly style this. We'll jump back into the design tab. There are icon styling options for each corresponding section of the design area. So in order to style this icon, we'll go into the item image styling and we'll scroll down to the icon styling options at the bottom. In here, we'll want to set the background color to F5, 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 which is a, a slight gray. And now we can see that that icon stands out much better up against that image. So let's jump back into the content tab Let's open up our other list items and let's quickly add an icon for each of these lists. So for list item number two, we're going to enable image icon, choose icon. For this one, we're going to use bicycle. We'll give this an image position of bottom left and we can see that right here. For list item three, we'll come down and add the image icon here as well. For the icon, for this, we're going to use a picture of a pedestrian. And then we'll give this an image position of the bottom left as well. Finally, let's add some rating icons. Let's open up our first list item, scroll down, and we'll enable the title icon option. Now, 
I have ready icons already prepared and ready to go, so I'll upload those via the upload SVG file option. And there we go. We'll change the icon position to be after title, and we can see that here. Let's go ahead, jump into the list item two, and we'll quickly add the title icon. We will upload another SVG. We'll set this to after title. Last but not least, a third item. Enable title icon, upload SVG. Set this to after title. And now, uh, I just realized that we forgot to add the container icon to this. So we're gonna go and jump in and add new. And then list item two, we'll jump in here and we'll add new to this as well. We can close this out. We can take a look at our preview URL, refresh the page here. And then if we scroll down, we can see that we're in a pretty good position with this gallery. Now obviously we can build this out into a much larger gallery with as many items as we wanted. But for right now, this looks great. Let's jump back into our builder here and let's go over a few final thoughts and notes that I wanna mention. Looking in the design section, we can see that there are tons of styling options and I'm not going to run through all of them individually because they're all labeled with their exact functionality and are pretty self-explanatory. But I will mention a few key points. Now, if you want to style the icons, things such as size, background, color, etc., you don't have a specific section for icons. The icons are in the sections that the icon style corresponds to. So for example, for the icon on the image, you open up the image styling and if we scroll down here, we'll see we have all of our icon stylings. For the icon on the container, we can open up the container styling, scroll down, and we have our icon size and icon background styles for the icons on the container. For the images, the widget will show the original aspect ratio for the image that you use. Meaning, if your images are a mix of landscape and portrait aspect ratios, they will display in those formats. If you want them all displayed consistently, you can prep them before loading them into the widget or simply use the image dimension settings for width and height in the item image styling menu. Using these width and height settings will crop all the images in the gallery to the same setting. And there you have it. That's going to do it for our directory gallery widget. Until next time, my name is Norman Durkee, and you're rocking with the best website builder platform on the planet, wocode.com. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us and support. We're always here to help.